Hello everybody, it's Lou from Cork Edge TV and I hope you're doing very well today. There is a helicopter going over. There it is, no it's not. It's an old war plane, wow. But I hope you're doing very well on this lovely bank holiday Monday. The weather for a change on the holidays has been superb. I just went out in the garden earlier, took the kids out. About half 11, quarter 12, wow, it was so hot already. I was like, hasn't even peaked yet, hasn't even peaked. But I hope you're having a great day and let me know what you're up to. Leave a comment down below. And remember to leave the video a cheeky thumbs up. Oh, and let me know the sun is shining near you. Ah, as we all know, pollen sufferers out there. Hay fever, oh, hay fever. I'm not a really bad sufferer, but people, wow. My eyes in the evening feel like I have dust all in it. I'm like, <laughs> it's not good. And Twitter have come up trumps with this today. It is really making me chuckle. So I'm put hay fever. It's quite simply the crappiest thing ever. Beautiful day, two steps outside and bang. Your eyes are bigger than your butt. <laughs> and your nose is running faster than you saying bolt. Indeed. Indeed, streaming, streaming. I sneeze so hard, I've scared the wildlife away for 10 years. <laughs> if you have hay fever, you know once you first rub your eye a little, you have blown it from that point, which is true. Hallelujah, that is true. I'm sitting there in the evening, I'm thinking, please don't rub, don't rub, don't rub. I sit there going, I told you not to rub your eye, I'm like, it's harder, it's hard, it's easier said than done when your eye itches like this. Hay fever is no joke. Absolute karma for the fact I used to brag about not having it. And now, stay humble, people. Stay humble. And then the one that really made me cry was, we sorry plants hate you. <laughs> Do you know what? So am I, because I absolutely love plants. But pollen, wow. Every time we go past one of those, when we're driving around, in case when we go past those fields with all the yellow flowers in the rope oil, it's like, oh my God, quickly wind, well, no, I don't have wind, we pull the windows up, but wind windows up. It's like, how's that gonna help? If you, you get your Pyroton, get your Pyroton, your Benadryl, and take them because, wow, the sun is shining, the pollen count is gonna be high. <laughs> Don't you, pollen? It was Sammy's birthday on the 5th. Oh, a cinema party. He had a wonderful day and got some fantastic gifts. I think the star present for Sam, though, was from my mum. It is a climbing frame. I put a picture up, see, here you go. He loves it, awesome, awesome. He was running up and down. He absolutely loved it. His friends got him some amazing presents, Lego Star Wars stuff, some Star Wars. This little wristband from Star Wars, he put this figure on and it says what it does. It's just amazing. Toys are amazing now, absolutely fantastic. The cinema, we went to see Sherlock Gnomes. Wow, what a good film, guys. I'd recommend going to see it. It is such a good one. The kids thought it was really funny at points. We had popcorn, because actually we didn't buy the popcorn at the cinema. Even the cinema said, don't buy the popcorn here. We're like, okay then, we won't buy the popcorn here. So we went and got two big tubs of sweet popcorn, five bags of toffee, loads of drinks, some sweets, and the kids just helped themselves. It was a wonderful party, and I hope you all had a wonderful time, and thank you so much for making Sammy's birthday special. Thank you, guys. Another thing that really, really, yeah, it can, things surprise me every day. Pineapple mug today, guys, because it's a very summery out there. Mm. I love coffee, it's all good. There's a guy called Don Gorsk in America, in Wisconsin, yes, in Wisconsin, America. He has just celebrated with McDonald's eating his 30,000th, yes, 30000 Big Mac, 30,000 Big Macs this guy's eaten. And that equates to having only about seven or eight days of his whole entire life of not eating a Big Mac. So basically he's eating a Big Mac every single day of his life from 1972, wow. Don Gorsk, and actually it was really funny, McDonald's made him a little badge with like his name on it with 30,000th Big Mac. And he reckons he wants to get to 40,000 Big Macs by 2032. Wow, put his name in lights. They have put his name in lights. I was gonna say, why don't we put his name in lights? They actually have McDonald's have put Don Gorsk's name in lights. So fair play to you, sir. 30,000 business. Actually, coincidence, actually, my mum texted me yesterday. She phoned me actually first. It was like, oh, do you know what? I'm, I don't feel like cooking tonight. I'm gonna, we're gonna go and get McDonald's. It's like, mum, wow. So my mum just does, she just doesn't order takeaway. She just doesn't. So they're actually going to McDonald's. So anyway, I was sitting there in the evening just watching a bit of wedding programs, wedding dress, and I got a message through saying, I have just eaten a Big Mac. I was like, what? What has happened? How was it? Did, what, did you like it? What was it like? 
She said, what have I been doing my whole life? <laughs> so mum, she has eaten her first Big Mac. 29,999 to go mum to catch up to Don Norsk. <laughs> well done to you. First Big Mac, see there's a first everything. If you haven't gone and done it, go and do it now. Life is too short to not eat Big Macs, guys. Oh God, mum. That message really made me chuckle though when it came through. I was like, oh my God, mum is really pushing the vote out. <laughs> You guys are absolutely amazing. We have gone past. Oh, it's just my mind. Every time I check subscribers, it just goes up. And you guys are just like, ah, oh, fantastic. Bit of Monday motivation. Bit of Monday motivation. So negative feelings are part of reality. The trick to happiness is not to allow them to dictate your frequency. That is so true, because the amount of negative stuff I read on Twitter, on Facebook, the pictures I see, what people say to each other, everyone's smashing everyone down. You've sometimes just got to think, do you know what, I am not lowering myself to your standard. I am going to be happy, spread the happiness, and you guys, just rise above hate. Get the hate and wipe it away. I need time to rhyme. Get the hate and make a clean slate. There we go. Chip. He doesn't like that. Negative feelings. Do not allow them in, rise above it and shine like you all do because you guys are fantastic. And I really hope you have a fantastic rest of bank holiday weekend, whatever you're up to, barbecue, seeing family, whatever you decide to do, it will be a great one I'm sure. And as always, remember to leave the video a cheeky thumbs up, subscribe to Cool Catch TV. Is that like a grandma? <laughs> Where's granny? Where's granny? <laughs> subscribe to Cool Catch TV and check out my other videos as that would mean the world. Thank you guys. See you soon. Bye. Cool Catch TV.